in just a couple of moments, so stick around for that. But next, this is another great item that Lauren is bringing us, and this is another customer pick. It does not surprise me. Super, super unique. Now, what this is, this is great indoor. You can use this outdoor. It's heavy duty, and we reordered this because it is always extremely popular when we bring it in. So here is the scoop. This is a rake broom, a wire scrubber, and an edging knife head, all with a retractable pole that allows you to pretty much tackle a whole lot of jobs around your home. I love she was pulling off the ivy on a wall, pulling out the weeds from the rocks. We can rake with this and so much more. So Lorna, this is really unique. I've never seen anything like this before. It really is. We say it's one of the UK's best kept secrets and we launched it at HSN last year. It sold out so quickly. There's 32 five star reviews and customers have been saying, we really want to get a second. So I'm so glad it's back. So what you've got is a telescopic handle, three foot to five foot. So whether you're tall or small, you can make it fit your height. You get three different heads with the one handle. Now I'm gonna come close and just show you those heads. For me, the hero product is the rake broom which is just so unique and different. You've got thousands of curved bristles and those bristles will grab, grip and hold. So it's a fusion between a rake and a broom. But you've also got a weeding knife, which you can do for edging, you can use for weeding, you can use for just getting the mold and the lichen out of bricks and the patio pavings. And it's so sharp, Suzanne. So don't do this at home, I've got an apple here. I just want to show you that weeding knife with three different blades. Well, it, oh gosh, we'll even cut through an apple. Wow. And then you've got a stainless steel scrubber head that you can either put on the pole and use it on the floor and things to get rid of mold right. on grass and weeds or barbecue grills and rusty tools. But I'm going to start very quickly by showing you how the rake broom will work because it is a fusion between a rake and a broom. So whether you are sweeping full leaves off of even real grass or faux grass like I've got here, it will grab, it will grip, it will hold. It will also sweep gravels and pebbles and stones because those curved bristles will make sure they get every last stone, which is amazing. And then in fall, if you're doing fruit cleanup, you can pick up your fruit, but don't just think outdoors, think indoors. So many people use this in the UK indoors. If you've got pets, and we're a big nation of dog and cat lovers here, watch on this rug, it looks quite clean. You can just give it a sweep, and are you ready? I'm gonna to come to the camera and show you. Look what it can pick up. Oh, and wow. this is all my dog, my dog's fur, I've been collecting it. <laughs> but we have hairdressers here in the UK who use these to collect the hair in the salons after haircuts. So indoors, the rake broom is just incredible. But also, if you're lucky enough to have a pool or a pond, you can use them wet as well. And look at this, this is how easy this makes life. And Suzanne, it really is one of the That's UK's awesome. best kept secrets. It really is. This thing's brilliant. I totally get it now. I did not get to present this last year when it was available. It is just now back in stock. And oh my gosh, it's so much better than a dumb, dumb rake. Like, Tw oh, tw yeah. 20 times better than a traditional rake because it can do so many more things because of those really stiff bristles. What's interesting is how they're able to combine, and you'll see it, I'll put it out here. They're able to combine a, a, a stiffness but a smoothness at the same time. So again, yeah. if you're raking up those rocks, see I'm picking up, oh the whole thing's moving now, but look how you can pick up a <laughs> lot of rocks. So if you're trying to get them back into the, the area, like the path, because they've spilled outside of the path, it's easy to do. If you've got to rake leaves, oh my gosh, you're never gonna look at your old rake again this is so much yeah. simpler and you know what i like uh lorna it really gets down into the grass and pulls things yeah. up unlike a traditional rake that's open it's always going to be missing stuff little pieces this yeah. really just gets down in there it's almost like grooming your carpeting it is it grabs it grips it holds because of the curved thousands of nylon bristles now I've, you've seen it outdoors with the apples the pebbles the leaves indoors on the rug with the dog hair in the wet, my mum's got a lovely fish pond with koi carp. She's always worried about the branches getting into it. You can get the branches out of the water with this, but also outdoors, if you've got decking, things like sand gets into the grooves. This gets in between all the grooves and it moves the sand away. And pine needles, one of the five star reviews mm. says, they use it for pine needles because it will get those pine needles and then you are literally cleaning up in seconds. Now the telescopic pole, as I mentioned, has two other heads. So you just push two buttons and twist off. Now one of my favorites is the weeding edge. I don't like bending down or getting on my knees gardening and things. 
three foot to five foot extension pole means I can get out the mold, the lichen, the nasty bits in between the cracks on my paving slabs or in between stones, you can just get it out. But getting fruit in the fall or ivy off the wall, I can use it to reach up high, pull things down, but then weeding. And Suzanne, this is one of my favorites. I can weed standing up That's and great. just use it to pick up the weed, Suzanne. It is that easy. Look at this. I mean, once you've got one, there's a reason 32 people have left a five-star review. Right. And they did sell out <laughs> so quickly last year, Suzanne. Yeah, and guys, this is the first time it's back. So here's your opportunity to get it. Look at that. Instead of having to get down and try to get some kind of tool, just use that to pull the weeds up. Now, I do want to take a close look at that one, too, um, if we can, Lorna. And I want you to explain what I'm seeing, because there's kind of this grooved edge here, and then you've got your bevel edges here yeah. and here. What does that right there mean? This You've got three blades. That's a, the one with the serrated edge is for cutting through roots and tough, fibrous plants. So You've got cut. three sharp blades. So be careful with your fingers because this is sharp, yeah. but it will do the job to cut through roots, cut through weeds, dig right. up weeds, and then dig out between the lines of your paving slabs yeah. and the cracks in the stones, the moss and the lichen. But don't forget, Suzanne, as well as that tool, which is super sharp. Oh, you can pick up fruit with that, with the pointed end, by the way. Just pick up the apples with the pointed end. You've got the stainless steel scrubbing brush. You can use it as a handheld brush, great for barbecue grills, by the way. But with that telescopic pole, three foot to five foot, you can use it to really get rid of marks and mold on your stones without, again, bending down. But if you've got rusty tools or muddy, dirty things, you can use it to clean off your tools. Look at this, Suzanne. I mean, I know um, you didn't present it last season when we launched it, but having it this year, where would you use yours? Oh my goodness, well definitely on a grill. We've got an, a green egg and it gets really, really gross. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's destroying <laughs> the weeds in between the stones. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh my gosh, scrubbing <laughs> down a deck. I mean, maybe you have a deck that's got a lot of that. We have a lot, of, I don't know if you do, Lorna, there, but here in Florida, we have a ton of humidity, so we have a lot of green moldy stuff. And I can yeah, see this being yeah. really handy trying to scrape a lot of that off because that stuff yeah. just gets everywhere. But I'll tell you what, if you use a traditional rake, if you bought it just to use, just to replace your traditional rake, I think you're going to be so excited about it. You're going to be like, okay, this is really brilliant. But then when you start <laughs> using those other tools included, that's going to be fantastic. And remember, this is also handheld. So both of these can be yeah. used handheld, which is great. So maybe you've got a smaller project, you really want to get into something, but both of these also can be attached to the expandable pole that's included with it. But this to me is really magical. I think this is going to amaze people when they get it at home, because it is very very different. It's sort of like a stiff brush. It's sort of like a scoop, but it's sort of like a rake at the same time. So if, if you have a rake and you do a lot of different jobs with it, just replace that rake and use this. And I think you're going to find, I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised. And what really is surprising, unlike traditional rakes that have the open spaces. So think about a normal rake. It's got open spaces like this. So what happens? Little pieces and parts actually don't get swept up. You can see how dense this is. So it is going to pick up all those little pieces that a traditional rake would actually miss. And Lorna, that's very evident. Even here on my little faux, uh, faux grass, yeah. it's working really, really yeah. well. It is, because it's replacing your broom and your rake. And I've got some examples here. As you mentioned, you know, the broom, that's great, but it's not strong enough for the gravel, for the stones to get the really tough jobs going. Then rakes like this, where the times are spaced apart, that's right. A, you miss things, and B, they start collecting things and become one big clump, and it's really difficult. And the metal ones, they can rip your grass up. And then, this is genuinely my old rake I had years ago, the wooden handle snapped. But what we have done, the Green Bay team, they have actually reinvented the rake and the broom together. And I just think once you've got this, indoors, outdoors, yard work, house work, you name it, it is such a clever design. And that's why this sold out so early last year, Suzanne. I'm so glad it's back. And you know what? Get it right now because once spring hits and everything starts to bloom and you want to get out there and do all those jobs, you're going to be thrilled you have it. All right, thanks, love. It was great to see you. And I'm glad you stayed up for us tonight. <laughs> oh, thanks, Suzanne. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, we're going to continue with this whole concept. In fact, it's the finale of our kind of outdoor, indoor, spring, kind of get ready for the spring season. 